Yo, what up? Hey everyone, Ryan come back at you here with a recap of my first ever uh, trade show trip to Scottsboro, Alabama. Uh, it had been one that ever since I moved here to Knoxville a little over two and a half years ago that everyone was telling me, um, you gotta check this one out, it's a great one day show. And you're not wrong, uh, I drove two and a half hours each way, worth it. Uh, got me out of bed this morning, I'm a glass half full kind of guy, got me out of bed, got my blood flowing, got me out of some trouble I potentially could have gotten in, you know, whatever. But um, it was great, I was wearing this down there, I just picked it up today because I was just like, or I put this on today because I thought, you know, it was gonna be too cold this morning. And uh, everybody was like, go dogs, go dogs. And I'm like, nah, dude, <laughs> I just put on a, just put on a jacket. Uh, I don't, I don't care who wins today. I'm just, I'm rooting for good football. Um, let's see. Uh, long and short, I think the show is a great show. Um, I was told by several of the vendors there that um, normally it's way better and it's normally bumper to bumper traffic in there. Uh, but because of the Dallas card show, a lot of the top uh, vendors in the room were in Dallas and not in Scottsboro, but uh, worth the trip. So I'll just say here, this is a giant stack of of just uh, hockey and patches and golf and stuff for the boys, stuff for whatnot. So I was happy to bring that. I was just finger fucking a bunch of $1 to $5 boxes and trying to wheel and deal that way. Uh, yeah, you can trademark that finger fucking right here. Uh, <laughs> whatever. I'm going to show you. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Uh, this, this is the stack that I'm going to show. I didn't pick up that much. I will say the state of the room, the state of the hobby, you're all in it too. So you get it. Um, but it is kind of, turbulent right now and things are going down and like I was trying to give solid offers to people like 90% comps 85% comps like I'm coming with cash and cash is compelling um and people are just like they're into stuff way too heavy and the stock's down on a lot of stuff so they're just trying to dig in their heels and wait for six months ago pricing or next year pricing and, and that's a tough spot because I've been on the other side of the table too but the reality is um the market is what it is today, and that's the world we live in. So, I don't, I don't live in the world of magical thoughts. So, we'll see whatever. So, I was able to acquire a good little stack here. I want to show you off here. Worst card, worst to best. This is the worst card, so not bad. HGA 9.0. I got it because of the color match of Jalen Hurts, and I'm probably gonna crock it, crock it, clean it, and try to send it to PSA. You know the game. Um, color match Jalen Hurts rookie. I was trying to buy him today. He's the most liquid guy in the room. Uh, also, I got a color match of this Zach Wilson. I mean, I was pleased with the price I was able to get it at. Um, hashtag Stifler's mom. I love this one, the Cosmic Prisms. They don't do as well as they should. 2020 select Lamar Jackson. I don't have enough of him right now. and I mean, they're balling out. Who knows? Um, Cosmic, Lamar Jackson. This is one you don't see every day. And when I, I, I'm forgetting the name right now, so apologies, but uh, a friend of mine on Instagram, we got to meet in person. He's like, hey, I'm following you. I said, me too. <laughs> now we probably put it in face to the name. I knew it too, because I saw his Michael Jordan in his case. I was like, I fucking saw that like last week. I know who you are. And uh, he had a card here that you don't see every day. And that's kind of my brand. I like that. 1998 Skybox Premium Shaq. That's jam. Uh, the Acetate is a PSA 8. This is a card you just don't see every day. I had to get my hands on it. We worked out a deal, traded uh, my Luca Blue Prism in some cash for this guy. Uh, so, appreciate I mean, he gave me cash in that for the Luca, obviously. Um, so, thank you for that. Happy to bring in some scarce 90s, 80s stuff. Uh, again, most liquid guy in the room. I don't like just going for straight relics, but it's just out of 25, rookie of Jalen Hurts. Select tie-dye, chunky potch. Obviously doesn't wear, he's number 12, so obviously this is probably from like number 88 when they do all that rookie premier bullshit. It says, the enclosed authentic memorabilia is not from any specific game or event. So, from your Casey's parking lot. Uh, and then lastly, not leastly, I circled this table three times. And I was like, hey, I was just kept on trying to like work him down, work him down. And we had a bit of a dance, but I would give some shout out love. Thank you for working with me uh, again. Round table breaks. Go shoot him some love, round table breaks. Super nice guy to work with. Um, and not rookie, which is not, not my shtick, but uh, it was 2021 Bowman, so it's a base prospect autograph, but not stamped rookie. But of one of the one of the great greater up and coming players in Major League Baseball today, on crowd autograph from Inception, uh, Julio Rodriguez, J-Rod, on card. 
looks pretty sweet. Um, obviously going to go on my set out to get graded stack and hopefully the Mariners keep doing what they're doing. They're building it the right way and uh, he's super exciting to watch. Um, so J-Rod. Uh, that's my recap from today. Um, more to come as always. I'm just always trying to grind it out and try to iterate and do better for you and for me and for the hobby at large. Uh, I'm excited to see everyone's recaps from Dallas and wherever else you're at in your neck of the woods. I know uh, Ship shawana has got a big show. Brad Beeman, what up? Um, so that's my recap from uh, Scottsboro. I'll probably do it again down the road. It's just with my kids' schedule, um, there's pr probably like, I don't know, six weekends a year where I don't have them or they're not in sports and I coach all their stuff. So I had to capitalize on this morning before I do the rest of my life this weekend. So uh, thank you to everyone in Scottsboro that worked with me. Uh, hope everyone has a great weekend of sports watching in front of you. And please follow me at I Saw Sasquatch on all forms of social media and look out for upcoming events and... That's it. Great. All right. Have a great rest of your weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Deuces.